The magic of Dead Cells lies in its procedural generated world. Every run feels like a new adventure as the layout of levels, enemy placements, and even the items you find are all dynamically generated. And it, not only that adds to the replay value, but it just always keeps you on your toes. Like even you, you could go through a hidden passage type thing and then underneath might actually be like acid or something like that. So you can just take damage from even just like a hidden passage. So you always have to be aware of your surroundings. Now let's, let's move on to the weapons. That cells doesn't just give you a few options. It throws a vast arsenal at your disposal from swords and bows to whips and explosive devices. The variety is absolutely crazy. And what's more, the game encourages experimentation, allowing you to find and combine weapons that suit your preferred playstyle. It's just a little customization that just keeps the gameplay just fresh and exciting. Now, the thing about Dead Cells is it definitely does not hold your hand. It challenges you just from the beginning, from straight up at the beginning of the game. The enemies are crazy, the traps are vicious, and death is absolutely a constant companion. However, it's not just punishing just for the sake of being punishing. Each death serves as a lesson, a chance to adapt and improve. It's this balance of challenge and reward that just makes each victory just ever so better. Now let's move on to the, the graphics. So for me, some pixel style games actually can bother me and can be hard for me to enjoy, but Dead Cells isn't one of them. It does have a pixel art style, but the graphics are still decent enough to not be a bother on your eyes. So what I mean by that is like Undertale is a very, like I'm sure it's a great game. I only was able to play like a little bit of it just because of like how it looks. It gave me a headache and stuff like that. I was like upset about it because I wanted to play it more, you know, I just heard great stuff about it. And I, I thought it was interesting like um, what I played of it and stuff, but it just like, it looked too bad, you know, um, like the graphics was too pixelated for me. So just letting people know that might have some health problems too. That um, Dead Cells, I don't think it would be a problem for you because it, it, it wasn't a problem for me. So hopefully it wouldn't be for you either. <clears throat> and as far as the story goes for Dark Cells, well, <laughs> there isn't really a story to the game other than you just keep dying and coming back to try again. And your character is goofy with giving thumbs up. And there are some references to other games that I'm sure a lot of people can enjoy, as I do. But I did see a post about someone complaining about there being no story and that the character just seems like a joke with the way he acts. So just keep that in mind if you might not like that kind of stuff. But if you're just looking for a game that'll just test your skills and ignite your creativity, then it'll keep you hooked on hours on end, then look no further than Dead Cells. And could you just let me know in the comments if you'd like more videos um, in Dead Cells, because I really love Dead Cells. Like, I was playing this to make the video um, to talk about as a hidden gem, but I wanted to just keep playing it, because it's just so fun. And uh, yeah, it's really hard for sure. But uh, I really like roguelikes, they're really fun to me. I don't know why, just like um, Battle Royale games I like, and then roguelikes I like, and stuff like that too. I think I like the random aspect of it, which I'm pretty sure like some people don't like, um, like those type of games for that exact reason, like they don't like the random aspect, but for me, it just makes it way more fun. I don't know, it's just like more rewarding when then you beat it and stuff like that. And uh, right now, I've really gotten into Monster Train. I'll probably upload a video in that, talking about that being a hidden gem, because Man, I took forever to actually try it. It was going to leave Game Pass, and I had it installed already. And I was like, man, I got to try it, because I was interested in it, because I love Slay the Spire. And um, they're actually so similar. I didn't know that they were so similar until I started playing it. Like, some things are, like, so, so similar. And uh, I just love both those games so much. I did make a video already on Slay the Spire. So um, if you like card games, like card game roguelikes, deck builders, stuff like that, and you haven't heard of Slay the Spire, you definitely check out that video. I'll link it in the description. And um, if you haven't heard of Monster Trainer, haven't tried that, then you should check that game out too for sure. Um, it's leaving Game Pass on New Year's Eve, so you gotta check it out soon because it's gonna be gone. I'm trying to get the achievements. I don't think I'll be able to get them all because I won't get to play enough, I don't think. But I hope it comes back on Game Pass because I fucking love it. It's actually so fun. <laughs> I only got to play it um, two days now, but uh, I got 11 of the achievements so far. <laughs> I still got so many to go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please help me out by giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet you know consider subscribing if you did like the video and you like my other content i would really appreciate that that'd be awesome and let me know in the comments like i said if if you'd like to see more dead cells videos right there i just cheekily walk through my cells picking them up picking them up dropping them down oh yeah bitches.